Hey, welcome everyone to this episode of the Looters Podcast. Woo. Everyone's like, woo. oh, Drew's cueing us to woo. We better woo. <laughs> <laughs> we all collectively did it, though. That was really impressive. We did play. Uh, I did Thanks, not dude. do that. Oh, <laughs> I will not have <laughs> And I bet you feel really sad and lonely. No. Oh. I feel good about myself. <laughs> good. I hope you do. Wow. But my name is Drew. Uh, we're in a new room today, so everything's going to be a little bit I different. I feel strange. Yeah. <laughs> I do, too. Uh, <laughs> and Deanna's playing, like, weirdly sensual music. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get everybody in the mood for me and Ghost Fox. Oh, no. Oh. Levi doesn't know what sex is yet. <laughs> <laughs> He's Stop. about to find out. <laughs> You've just never heard of it? Or? <laughs> yeah, he, just, he just doesn't know. You know? It's never come up. <laughs> yeah. His poor childhood. I'm Andrew. I play Artie and uh, to my right now instead of my left. It's Melinda. I play Theo. It's Ian and I play Levi. I didn't mean to mock you. I'm yeah, so sorry. Yeah, yeah. You didn't mean to mock me? Oh, it's like word. a tradition I'm an thing. asshole, but unintentionally, okay? <laughs> that's well, that's the best type of asshole. It. The one that's not self-aware. <laughs> there we go, yeah. My name is Deanna. <laughs> are, you, are you afraid you could talk a little closer to the mic if you want? Make out with them. <laughs> I need to. I need to calm down. Okay, I am. Oh, oh, she's whoa, ready. I think you need to calm up. <laughs> <laughs> calm up. I can't focus right now. I am El Capitan. I <laughs> My name am. is Deanna. <laughs> That's El Capitan. She plays the character Deanna for El the Capitan. intro. <laughs> He's El Capitan. El Capitan. <laughs> oh, shit. And of course we have me. It's Matthew. I play everyone else. Me, <laughs> me, it's me. Because Boo. I'm so cool that they it, just know it's me. He's got a bigger desk than all of yeah, us, and it's idea, really uh, affecting our energy. Yeah. He chops off a couple limbs and look at him. Mm, <laughs> I don't <laughs> roll better. I don't know. What to oh. tell you. Oh. <laughs> all right. So my question is: If you were to take your character from this game and plop it into a fantasy world, what? fantasy class would your character have all of like D D or anything other video game franchisey thing you want i don't know if i completely understand your question and also I, what i was I, gonna I, say i can i can take i can help okay. yeah i can help you guys out with Copy this for you. the the not affluent D players not uh uh what is it called um so like you got like experienced <laughs> no no uh, sci-fi girly. Yep. Yeah. Not, yeah. I'm not a sci-fi girly. Well, good, because we're fantasy. talking about fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> fantasy. I'm not really a different, fantasy. Deanna. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a bunch okay. of different kind of classes. You have like a ranger, mm-hmm. which is like Aragorn from Lord oh. of the Rings. You have... Fighter, uh, sword fighter, smashy, oh. Gandalf, yeah. wizard, yeah. Okay. thief, hobbit. Warf- uh, warlock. Yeah. Warlock. Wait, what's that? I you know, you, know you played a warlock. I did play a warlock. There you go. I... Magic. Warlock is like you make a pact with some dark evil thing that fuels your power theo yeah i think that or yeah. maybe that adds up that yeah. track for you he's gonna grab that. warlock i mean i don't know what the other ones are but that that one sounds the most you know honestly i makes a lot of sense i feel like the obvious choice would be like the bard i play music and travel from town to no, town no she's warlock like Good. Yeah, she's intense. And- <laughs> she's intense. Yeah, she's intense. I, I feel mean, like there's something her. in your backstory she's... you're not telling us. Some there's deals and packs that have been made. There's a lot of backstory that you don't know about. I mean, yet. she had that sure. moment that none of us listened to. I yeah. I still don't know what it was. I'm you like, still don't know? Oh, that's oh no, I, I I I skipped it. I was like, I'm not. No, Good. Fuck it. I'll find out organically. Mm. Organically Organ- through yeah. the through the story through the, through the, through the art of storytelling. Every moment hit me. Like a surprise. Um, Which is so funny because we'll have known each other the longest and you'll have known, you'll know the least about. Me. As a person and a character. <laughs> and a character. Uh, well, as a character, I probably know more than you. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But you'll know, you'll know the least about okay. me. Um, Levi, what would, what would Levi be? Uh, I think, honestly, I, this is the class that I, I grew up playing. It was my first ca- class. Because for me, when I think like fantasy classes, like for me, my first experience, I learned to read. So I could play World of Warcraft. <laughs> like, like I watched my dad play it growing up, and I was like, I want to fucking do that. And so I learned to read so I could do it. But I've I've always been a rogue. Mm. Like that that to me is like always yeah. been quintessential. So for me, it's like yeah, he's not. I won't say like in the stealthy aspect, but like in the more the emo way. 
Yeah, the, the, the emo <laughs> nobody understands. Me. Yeah, <laughs> no, but like in uh, you know how how like the like in a political way, but also yeah. just kind of this. It uh, doesn't really quite know how to fit in things. You know, yeah. he's a little bit fast talker. Yeah, he's a, he's a little he's a little he's just a little off. A little shifty. A little shifty. Yeah, yeah. I get that. What is what what? <laughs> when it's like you're shit you're off well no I, I feel i believe like he's just like i don't think he's he he likes the the, the more the the diplomacy the the political game but he's not necessarily the most like he he try like i don't know he he can be personable but it's like it's it, it feels forced for him like it's not like mm-hmm. exactly like a, yeah that is interesting hmm. el capitan i'm gonna flip this question back to you guys <laughs> because Whoa. I truly don't know. I think the class is well enough to know myself, so I don't want to answer something that I don't believe. I could see you as El Capitan as a bard. I don't know a why. A bard? But... Yeah. Is that, isn't the bards the musicians? Like, And wouldn't that be But like you're, the bard Theo? is the one who kind of like lead the like, jester. Like, is the one who kind of can like lead the party in fast talk and smooth talk stuff. Like, I feel like, like that's like... Levi. He's a yeah, no, he's like, the awkward but it's, one. It's like just... he's kind of like no, how Han Solo Andre's is a little, little bit of a bard. Like he's not really the bard, <laughs> but you know yeah. what I mean? Like he has I the do, bard I do, traits, Matt, that's looking at me for support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, okay, the bard's please, like kind of the the jack of all trades. Like I'm not picking one path. Mm-hmm. That's my thing. <clears throat> I kind of do a little bit of everything. Yeah, I, I just, I actually knew all these. I just wanted to know what okay. you guys would say <laughs> about me. Did we get it right? <laughs> yeah, I like the answer, so it's right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Artie? Uh, I, okay, I think I, there's a there's a really obvious choice that I should take, and that is, uh, it's obviously like, oh, this guy's a and d nerd when I say it, but the artificer. Yeah, yep, yep, 100%. Mm. Uh, that's like uh, what Nikki played in our campaign. Oh, uh, with her human character? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, she was a tinker. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. just like tinkery. And, and and the thing about the artificer, as because like you know, if you think of like technology as magic, as a magic user, the artificer is the one that's most like, oh, how much? How does this magic work? Oh, it works like that. Okay, then let me use it to do this and like maths it out. Mm. And I feel like that's very arty. He like mm. doesn't he doesn't have a lot of like he's not very comfortable with the artistry of his working with technology he's very much in like the like oh what is if this then that sort of mm. logical conclusions that makes sense how um, does matthew answer this question i'll give you two maris ranger Ooh. Mm. <laughs> good shot <laughs> melinda's like gross alistair yeah. barbarian of uh, yeah obviously. of course obviously. of course yeah, of course obviously. Awesome. Should I? I guess we should probably do a recap. Yeah, let's do a recap. You're like on on the system Whoa, to get going I'm today. I, well, I feel like we have a lot of stuff to do. Today, I have multiple. So I'm, right. I'm, I'm ang- I, in, a, in a good way. I'm anxious to do it. I'm excited right. to do it. I don't mean to be. I don't mean to rush. Um, You're being pushy. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be. Don't Classic man. Yeah. Um, honestly. We can we can wait. We can wait. Some yeah, let's down. just sit and wait for a minute. Yeah. You know, really quick. Are we just just really silence. enjoy each other's presence <laughs> and sit in a moment of silence. Or whatever right. Deanna let's, is let's, playing. Let's, yes. get, let's get let's get right into it. All right. All, All right. right. Let's do it. All right. So, what happened last time? You all started a revolution. You led the giant lizard into the center of town to create a distraction against the White Company and Quint, who you saw not only had the Ghost Fox, but also your crew members, Maris and Alistair, on a big platform ready to take them out. You all flew into the center of town, dropped off a bunch of weapons for the townspeople, and through hacking into the speaker system in that palace yard area, you were able to have some stirring speeches to light up the crowd. A year. (laughs) You flew around, you created a bunch of havoc and chaos, and eventually were able to destroy and kill the lizard by dumping some of your fuel into its face, which was pretty sweet. (laughs) And then we're able to have a sort of stalemate with Quint, who agreed to your terms to allow him and his surviving people to leave the planet in a ship and give you back your compatriots, Ghost Fox, Maris, and Alistair. You transported them from the palace area to the shipyards and let them leave 
and failed to catch that they had left a bomb on your ship. Yeah. Who failed those checks? <laughs> <laughs> then, as you watched their ship leave the atmosphere, an explosion rocked your ship, knocking those of you on the bridge, Sam, Levi, Theo, and El Capitan around. But Artie was in the engine room and got caught in the blast. For those who can't say, Artie is currently slinking in his chair. <laughs> <laughs> Levi and Sam went and found Artie, who is missing both of his legs. One from slightly below the knee and the other from midway through the thigh. You took him to the med bay as Levi, you instructed El Capitan to run and go get help. And that's where we start. Right no now. biggie. Yeah, <laughs> it's super simple. El Capitan, you run through the streets of town, maybe tears streaming down your face to find the ghost fox and get help. So I need you first to give me a dexterity check. So let's go 2d6s plus for your dexterity modifier. Okay. Ooh, that is big roll. A nine. Nine. Nine? Ten? You have minus you one minus for dexterity? One dex? No, I don't. It's a ten. That is, that is indeed a 10. <laughs> I missed the little circle in the middle. <laughs> with, with, <laughs> with, a, with a 10, <laughs> you manage to sprint and guide yourself through the streets till you all of a sudden are hit with light as you enter into the palace square. You see pockets of five, ten people all sort of huddled about at various points trying to save people that are screaming out in pain, asking for help. There is smoke in the air where you fried the lizard. The ghost fox is standing in the center of this right now trying to help a young girl with what you can only assume are her parents. You see Alistair is off to the side trying to lift some rubble off of people. Maris is helping guide some people to clear out some of the weaponry of the white company. Who do you go to? What do you what do you do first? I don't do well in situations like these. I've tried to avoid them my whole life. <laughs> so I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing. So because I have daddy issues, <laughs> I go to the fucking ghost fox <laughs> and ask him for help because I don't know how to handle situations like this on my own. Okay, so you run up to the ghost fox and... Ghost fox! Ghost fox! This, so you... <laughs> that was a terrible shot. <laughs> <laughs> ghost, fo ghost, fox. ghost fox! Ghost fox! Ghost fox! <laughs> you say somewhat numbly, realizing that like you're calling him by sort of his... like. Code name, kind of like <laughs> his street name. <laughs> yeah, kind of. And he turns and, after a moment, sees you and, and sees that you have been crying and probably still are. And your nose is red. Yeah, you look pale. And he says something to one of the people that he's working with and, and comes running over to you. I, I I need help. I don't know what kind of help I need, but my, my um. What, what What do you mean? What What help do you need? <sighs> Um, I, I, I just need like medical supplies and, and just my what? friend is dying and we need we what, need to help him. My, my friend, cut, uh, his legs are, they're gone. He starts calling out for people. And after a couple of seconds, a man comes running up to you. It's the guy who you saw in the sewers who had the glasses and the, the computer. You, you recognize okay. him. Okay. And you see that he's actually has a... Instead of a computer or a compad, he has a big box of medical supplies. I just like grab him and tug him <laughs> along to like follow me, and I like sprint back to where uh, my friends are. I think at this point the exhaustion is hitting you. Mm -hmm. Like you've had a incredibly long day. Yeah, I am very tired. Yeah, you started today entering prison, and over oh, this is <laughs> it's still the yeah. same day. <laughs> It's been years. And so over the course of, the, of not even the last 24 hours, you've escaped prison. You how am I still mentally here? Yeah, you got knocked in the head pretty hard. You arrived on this planet and ousted a whole group of people and watched as your new friends literally lost limbs today. 
and watched as people died around you in this chaos. I'm running on pure adrenaline right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, you just grab yeah. by the shirt sleeve and you two start running off mm-hmm. for the ship. <laughs> Levi. Oh, boy. I, I don't like how you just adjusted <laughs> the look at me right now. I'm like, oh, boy, I'm on the chopping block right now, huh? You and Sam have already under the arms and are carrying him to the med bay. You're incredibly pale, barely breathing right here next, uh, on your arm. Uh, tell me how this all shakes out. Yeah, as we're carrying the body of the, uh, of Artie, not Theo. <laughs> that was last episode. <laughs> not that I actually... Too many that. limbs lost. Too many limbs lost. Yeah, is he just like, as we're carrying, is he just bleeding all over the floor or is he kind of like singed at like the... You see that one of the legs is pretty much like burnt. Like mm-hmm. the, the one that's burnt up to the thigh is, is cauterized from that. And mm-hmm. But you see the one that's below the knee is leaking a trail of blood mm-hmm. from where you carried him up the stairs. And how, how, how's Sam doing this whole time too? He's pretty locked in with you. Like you can see he's kind of going through in his head, you know, all of, all of the steps that he needs to do to try to save Artie. Uh, I definitely, I'm feeling like like a, a weight of guilt now, mm. right now, especially looking at like what I've had to put everybody through because of a lot of the decisions that I made. <gasps> no! And um, yeah, I, I don't, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that he, he, he's grown like this, but like he, he shouldn't have had to, he shouldn't have had to do this. I, I, I try, I'm, I'm going to try and remain composed and try and keep my, so my, my wall, my disassociation from the scene with me uh, and try and get done what needs to be done. But um, I, I, I think it's definitely like it's like I feel like all of, all of these actions over the past seven, eight hours are really starting to crash down on me like a wave because I've never done anything like that before. You remember a, a thought that you had right at the start of today, which was that the revolution would cost many lives. And I think that really dawns on you now, what that really meant. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to... That thought will definitely ring in my head for a while. Because I, I, it, it's one of those things where like, you, you think about it on paper and you're thinking about it in a larger, grander political scheme. Like, mm-hmm. And like you get the Machiavellian in you where you're like, ends justify the means. And you need to, like, maximize your the wins and minimize the losses. But... I, I, I think being confronted with the raw humanity and the lack thereof that on my on my own behalf's really uh, man, that's that's fucking me up right now. As you and Sam bring Artie into the med bay and you watch as Sam begins to get tourniquets out and start tourniqueting up Artie's leg. Uh, Sam on his left, you on Artie's right, just cranking it as tight as you possibly can. You see before you two roads, and you have a sense about what it really means to walk each one. Yeah. Theo, you're alone in the bridge after this explosion rocked the vessel. You see that the lights all in the bridge, all these lights that turned purple after you plugged Sky in, are like flickering, bouncing on and off, off for a moment, turning back on, trying, it looks like it's trying to almost feel like getting its heartbeat back <laughs> at its control. Sky? He- he- hello, is anyone there? Um, yeah, it's, it's Theo. Sky, are you okay? The- Theo, I, uh, can't, I can't see you. You can't, s- can you, uh... <laughs> Um, what, what can you see? Nothing? No, nothing. Every, everything is d- dark. Um, Sky, what can I do? O- on the front, uh, the pilot, pilot seat. To read, read the data for, for me. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so I go over there. You start to see the a picture come into form after the statistics. And you can see what the ship looks like kind of now in 3D space, sort of the status of it. Okay. The cargo bay is two-thirds, three-quarters three blown out. 
And you can see that the engine as well on the right side is blown away. What, what, what do, you, do, do you see? It's you, it's the ship. It's, um, it shows that the whole cargo bay is blown out and that the engine is crashing. Uh, uh, oh. I, I feel like p- part of me is m- missing. But I, I appear, I, I uh, appear to be stable. Is is Artie uh, okay? I don't know. Do you want me to go find out? I, I, w- I would like to know if, if, if my f- 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 friend is okay. Okay, Scott. Um, uh, I'll be right back. So I go down to the med bay. Then I want to do that. You go down to the med bay. You see Levi and Sam tightening up tourniquets on Artie's legs. Um, And you can see Artie's legs missing, one below the knee, one at the thigh. But for the moment, he is alive. Can I talk to Sky through the... Intercom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sky. um, Hi. Hi, I'm in the uh, med bay with uh, Sam and... Levi and Audie, and um, he is stable, but oh. um, I'm both both of his legs are gone, and uh, oh. Oh. he's losing a lot of blood. So, um, I, I'm, 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 I'm so, sorry to to hear that. It it I I don't I I don't don't think don't think I I can fix him. Sky, it's okay. You don't have to fix him. I, I, I would, would like, like to, to try, but, but, but I, 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 I can't, I can't see. What, what can I do? What can I do? Can I? Be, 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 be my, my, my eyes. Okay. Th- thank you, Artie. You're in black at this point. What, what might be going through your head? right now in this sort of fugue dream state. I'm mentally retreating to a happier time in my life. Mm. I remember like camping in the woods. Yeah. I think maybe you remember the feeling of the sun on your face when you woke up or, or perhaps artificial light. You see your brother sort of slowly walking towards you. And you start to see his face come through the, the fogginess of things, the sort of dream state that you're in. And you see him smiling at you. I would run to him and show him a kite that I had made. Mm-hmm. Very, um, very impressive for a young child. And if I'm seeing Calyx, then I'm probably only about nine years old. Mm-hmm. I would show him this this very immaculately and carefully crafted kite. Mm-hmm. Calix, did you want to fly this with me? He smiles at you as you say that. You start to see the image start to disappear and fade. The sky and the trees around you begin to start to go black. I need you to give me a mental saving throw. Mm, what are you doing, Matthew? That's a 12 out of 14. You start to see him try to speak to you, almost beginning to hear his voice. I mean, it's been so long since you, you've heard it. It's hard to remember. You see the image around you begin to change and shift. It starts to, for, from the organic green grass all around and the life, it starts to morph into darker metal. You start to make out this hangar bay. You still see your brother, but from a distance hardened and older. You see him with a beard that's a bit more grizzled and gray. As you continue to start to get some clarity about what you see, you see the back of a man's head looming over him, shouting at him, yelling at him, it seems. You make out something on his clothing and you start to recognize it. You realize that it's probably your dad that's shouting at him. As you continue to get more clarity of the room that you're witnessing, you recognize the ship that you saw at the beginning of the day. 
the red paint and lines and the arrowhead shape of the craft. Maybe you're just imagining something or you're just having a moment, but you can swear that this might be happening like right now. You just have this weird feeling. We return El Capitan, you come sprinting through the streets with this doctor. You get to your ship, which is crashed over on its side with the gaping hole through its belly that you crawled through to get to the med bay and you start maneuvering your way through the wreckage with this guy behind you and you see Sam's in there. He is slumped to the side, head in his hands, exhausted. Levi, where might you be in this room? Have we stabilized and done all we can do for Artie? Uh, yeah, I think at, at this point, yeah. I'd be leaning up against the wall, hand on my chin, staring at the ceiling. And Theo? I think I'd probably be by him, trying to be Sky's eyes, hmm. trying to see what we could do to help him. And El Capitan, you walk into all of this. What, what do you say? What do, what do you do? Um, <clears throat> what's, um, what's going on? I, I, what is, what's happening? Uh, well, he's passed out. Um, okay. He um, a lot like, of blood. He's stable, but, um, it, we don't, we don't know what to do for him. What um, do you, what do you mean? What do you mean you don't know what to do? As you say that, the doctor comes into the room. Wh- which one of you has, wh- which one of you has, has medical experience? Wait, you're the doctor and you're asking for medical experience? No, I, I'm, I'm going to need somebody to help me. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, Jesus, I brought someone if who you, cannot help If you, if that, did you not see the, okay, it's not time for this. If you don't have medical experience, I need you, I need you to leave the room. What? Yeah, what do you I mean? Need, no, I don't want. What do you, you why do we have to leave to be, the room? You, I'm, I'm going to need space and you're not going to want to see this. I okay, am going to stay. This is my friend and I'm going to stay. I think at this point I'd come up to El Capitan. And I don't necessarily grab you by the shoulder, but like I, I grab your shoulder and I'm like, we, 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 we should go. I can't, <laughs> you don't understand. I can't I, leave him there. I, I, don't, I don't think you understand. I, I, I'm not going to leave him there. You, you're, not gonna, you're not going to help your friend by being here. Sorry, I, I know give this both is... of you a look. Let's just go. <sighs> Fine, and I like run off very disturbed. Yeah, as you do that, Levi, do you follow her? No, no. <laughs> Fine. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> not, that's that's a con- that's not a good conversation. Theo, I'm gonna go to the bridge. You go to the bridge. Yes. Oh, Capitan, I assume you go to the bridge. I guess. Yeah, I just assumed. I figured. <laughs> yeah, I follow her. Levi, you stay in the room? Oh, with the doctor? Yeah. No. No, you go. No. I, I think I, I was unclear. I was you're unclear. Oh, yeah. Everybody to leave Sorry. the room, and then you're like, "Oh, are you?" You're well, not in no, the no, no. It was just the. Con- it was. It was just how he was like. Do it. I was like, "Do you go with her?" And you were like, "No, I don't." So I oh, I, I meant like, yeah. no, I, I leave. But I don't. I see. Follow I see. Her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why not? Where? Huh? Where? where well, <laughs> I don't want to argue. Sounds like she wants. <laughs> I do not want to argue right. Yeah. Where do you? Where do you? I wanted you to follow me. I'd like to. I'd walk to the cargo bay, or what's. As, as close to the cargo bay as I You can. walk down the stairs to where the cargo bay yeah. is, and it stops at a certain point where it's just open space. And is there just like sand down there from where yeah. we've landed? Yeah, just dirt. I want to sit in the dirt and look up, look up the stairs. All right. Lay down a little what bit. What a rogue yeah. of you. <laughs> yeah, you, you step off the ship and lay in the dirt and look up at the stars maybe even looking up at that spot in the sky where the white company uh, blinked out of sight um okay uh you two in the bridge i would like to give you a hug you say that to me yes (laughs) (laughs) you I will you accept my hug? Do I do I have your consent to hug you? This is like a prom proposal. Yeah. <laughs> um, as she's like trying to ask me if I can get a hug, I just like fall into her arms. Um, arm. Arm. Oh, oh, oh Jesus oh, Christ! Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. I'll wake enough to drop that uh, one. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> From the uh. grave. <laughs> um, El Capitan, you collapse into Theo's arm. Uh, Theo, you 
catch her with a wince of pain as you feel it in your <laughs> bad on your bad side and maybe you all kind of eventually fall to the floor and sit on the floor with El Capitan crying on your shoulder. Do you say anything to her? I don't think so. I think I just maybe if I had the consent to do so, I would like to stroke your hair. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to yes. cross any boundaries. <laughs> You can touch. Okay, so I ask her if I can stroke her hair, and then <laughs> I, we sit in silence. And I'm just, like, man, I'm in my head, there. like, this girl's real bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll take it, because I need it. Okay, so this week, I have a new podcast that I don't know if you guys have listened to, but it's called Makeshift Stories. Ooh, that sounds oh, fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a sci-fi short story podcast. Oh mm-hmm. sick. If you're a science fiction fan. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> if you're a science Someone fiction is. fan like us, they have a long running podcast that you would probably be interested in. It's a sci-fi fantasy speculative fiction podcast for all ages. And we twice a month buckle up. There's a new journey through possible futures, space, alternate realities, and Ooh. beyond. Yeah, Makeshift Stories is available wherever you listen to audio, like all of us podcasts out there. <laughs> and But if you want specifically more information, head to their website, makeshiftstories.com. Bling. You ready for the tagline? Yes. Tell me. Drop it on us. Tune in and let your imagination soar. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's, ooh, nice. that's really good. Honestly, it'll soar. So at this point, I think the next three days for all of you happens in a blur. I think the level of exhaustion that you all are under and the states that you're in, I think most of it is spent sleeping. And I, I don't think you can sleep really on the ship because of how it's being repaired. At this point, the ghost fox has stepped up and found you all and has coordinated bits and pieces with you three, but mostly with the help of Maris and Alistair, have gotten you three to... <laughs> give, what's that look for? I'm just curious. <laughs> have gotten you all to a hospital to be cl- like cleaned up. Like, you all are, I assume, just, like, covered in dirt from in the Badlands and and would just love a shower, I bet. Uh, It's just a hot, hot shower. Like, those of you two that were in prison have had, you know, horrific shower experiences for the last. (laughs) Whoa, what does that that mean? You laugh when you said horrific. You had a horrific shower experience in prison. That's not what I meant. (laughs) (laughs) That's not at all what I meant, but that is definitely... We were only there for like a couple hours. Melinda and I went. I never took a shower. Yeah. So you you take your first showers and probably collapse in these beds in the hospital where you're you know checked. You got shot. Yeah. Earlier today, you're in a med bay going through initial surgeries. Yeah. You're also going through some surgeries, Theo, as one might guess. And El Capitan, you are I'm there. I'm fine. <laughs> you're you're there in this hotel, but you're the most. Hotel. Hotel, Ooh. excuse me. Hospital. I was like, oh, just like, like ooh. No, no, no. Now. In the hospital, you're the only one who's really able to get up and about at this point. What, what might be going through your head? Any thoughts like that? What's, what's going on? I I think I have guilt mm. um, being the only one who like is not going through an experience like that. Mm. I feel very useless and like immature in a way Mm. i feel like my name is like el capitan but like i was certainly not one then um yeah i think yeah that's all whirling through your head at this point theo and levi is about you know three days now again you're waking you've woken up out of your anesthesia things hurt a lot but you're patched up you have had Lazarus patches applied. You've gotten your wounds stitched up and properly cleaned. Really, the one of the biggest sensations that you have right now is where you've been hurt. It's it's itchy. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. As you feel all this this healing happening rapidly. Artie is still asleep 
at this point. He's been in surgery for about eight hours. Where might y'all well, y'all be? I feel really fucking guilty. Mm. Like I, I'm like We're all I'm, so guilty. I'm like God. Like I, I, I honestly, I feel like I kind of not really want to talk and just kind of like sit alone. Mm. Maybe, maybe I've been I've been coming to visit Levi, and every time he just like doesn't. I don't think I I'd like shoot you away or anything. No, yeah, but yeah. I just kind of like sit there and very very tersely yeah. conversate. Yeah. Theo, how about yourself? Yeah, there's a few things. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering where Sam is at. Oh, you want? Yeah. Oh, you're actually. Yeah. Oh, about day two, he had come in when you three were awake. We had said hi, but he informed you that he's trying to help the populace here. And he looks, as you looked at him, he looks tired. Hmm. Like you all have rested at this point. He is not. Okay. Um, and I want to know about Maris and Alistair. Um, yeah. So while you two were still asleep, they had come and joined you uh, hmm. at one point um, and checked in. But they are right now very much involved in the cleanup process. Helping Sam? Yeah, well, Sam, Sam's working in the medical side of things, and they're working to, to help repair things, arm things up in case the white company comes back. And you have another thing? Oh, I sorry, do. I actually do. Yeah. No, no, please. Yeah, okay? please. Yeah, totally. Right. Please. Um, after, you know, we're talking and catching up, and she tells me about all this and stuff, mm -hmm. I'm eating some ice chips at the hospital, nice. and I'm, I, <laughs> I think I want to ask her for a favor. Can I do that now? Yeah. Hey, girl. Hey, what's up? Hi. I feel like I don't know why I'm nervous to ask you. Um, I'm <laughs> you. You're nervous. <laughs> you don't get nervous. You're Theo. That's funny. <laughs> Theo lives in anxiety. <laughs> I'm just in a lot of pain right now, and I'm wondering if maybe um, I don't know you could find some of those chips that you maybe had at you mean that one point. The ones I gave to Sam? Yeah, except maybe we could just we could just eat some. Yeah. Yeah. I like that idea. I don't know. I've where never we could been find some. happier that you've asked me that. Okay, great. I don't that know is why my so favorite nervous. thing in the world. <laughs> great. All right. So at this point it's been five days and the doctor informs you that Artie's going to be waking up now. I think you all are probably together at this point. Maybe you're all drinking coffee somewhere, getting food. Yeah, I feel like I'd want to be eating so much. Yeah, maybe Just y'all are in the cafeteria. I feel yeah. like that would make sense. That's a, that's a good spot. I, of yeah. the hospital? Yeah. We don't want to go somewhere, anywhere else. You we want to stay in this house. Oh, yes. For Artie? That's right. We do. <laughs> Why would we go away from him? World? What if we wake up? We want to be right there. I was so invested in the food. Yeah, so <laughs> El Capitan, Always. as you're thinking, damn, this food sucks. I wish we were at a <laughs> restaurant right now. A nurse comes up to you and tells you that Artie's waking up. We follow the nurse. Yeah. To up to Artie. We run. Yeah, yeah. You I push the nurse out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, get the fuck out of my Where's way. Throw her down the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you all push past and sprint up to Artie's room and you burst in and Artie, you have just woken up you've sort of had a couple moments to get yourself situated and the doctors come in and you know like he had explained things to you before but you were still a little loopy and you'd fallen back asleep and then like you're really waking up now so yeah what's going through your head at this point how much do i know about what's happened to me i think at this point you've it's been explained to you and you kind of have figments of it but i don't know if it's fully dawned on you I think I try to wiggle my toes. <laughs> wiggle the big toe. Yeah, in trying to do that, you kind of almost feel like they're there, but realizes you're sort of jolted out of that sensation as you start to feel pain in your legs. Okay. How put together is this hospital? It was much more put together. Things are operating and moving relatively. I don't think... I'm ready to like look under the blanket at this point, mm -hmm. but I do think I'm going to try to kind of twist my body and crawl to get to the foot of the bed. You're able to 
pull the IVs around you to right. be able to move and the, the heart rate monitors and they start to beep a little faster as your heart rate picks up and you feel the pain in your legs. I'm going to reach over with my hand just like around the bottom of the hospital bed mm -hmm. and try to feel for any sort of folder or anything that would be like my medical information. Yeah, yeah. I, that's like the first thing your hand hits. Like, well, yeah, you, like it's right there. Like, I pull it out and I just start reading it for myself as well as I can. Yeah, so the the three of you come in as you see Artie sort of sitting towards the the end of the bed there. Blanket draped over his lower body and his upper body sort of almost like like a shawl wrapped around him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Drew's wearing a shawl. Right? Yeah, you walk in as you see him reading this folder and you hear Artie the door open, but that happens as you read about what has happened to you. Artie! Hi, Theo. Hi. Hey, Artie. Hey, El Capitan. Hey, Artie. Hi, Levi. How are you feeling? Uh, I just woke up. Uh, what are you reading there? Uh, the medical folder with the information about the incidents in which I... Uh, was a victim of? Uh, maybe you should not read that right now. Yeah, I I think I've got the gist of it. Um, how are you all? We're good. We're really good. We've just been recovering, hoping for, for the best for you. Good. They both had surgery. Yeah, Theo, how, how are you feeling? I'm good. Yeah. Really? Yeah, much better. It's been um, five five days now. Five days? Yeah. Yeah, it's been five days. Those were a very short five days. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding. Some rest. <laughs> they were... Longer than the amount of time I've, we've talked together. Yeah. I like, think about it. Yeah. What? Well, That's no, we crazy. like. Well, no, I mean, no, like we like we've like hung out for fucking like seven hours, and then you know, <laughs> hung out. What we do? Well, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I can't, exactly, you hang out can't with call to hang out. Like I didn't even get to know like the the real, you know. But like it's that, that those seven hours happened, then I don't know, five days happened, and now we're here. You know. <laughs> How are you? I just woke up. Valid. <laughs> I I'm I'm, uh assessing still yeah i understand that do you want something to eat oh yeah i, I think i'm starving <laughs> that would make sense yeah she's only got chips though if that's okay not, not yet not yet <laughs> i don't I have them like, yet <laughs> did we get them that was sarcastic <laughs> uh, you know remember I can't when cook. sam ate all those <laughs> chips yeah yeah does Sam remember? I I don't know. <laughs> he's a different man now, Sam. Yeah. Artie, he's yeah. uh, he's not that Sam. <laughs> Actually, grown up. Well, we're all a little different. Some of us grown down. <laughs> <laughs> Artie, I'm glad you. Uh, it seems like you have better sense of humor now. <laughs> I'm uh, yeah. No, I'm I'm all right. What happened? Do you guys remember? Yeah. What happened when? Like, a, like, 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 how did that happen? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there was that group that we, right? We had uh, the, the white company. Yeah, them. Um, yeah, we told them, you know, to fuck off, right? You remember that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess what we didn't know is that they had planted some um, bombs where we had held them. And when they flew away, they had detonated and it kind of ripped a hole in the entirety of our, our um, whatever it's called. So they planted bombs. So yes. it wasn't my fault? What? Artie. What? No. I just I just had the engine all taken apart and I thought maybe I I I I broke something 
and <laughs> no, you did great. <laughs> oh, that's good to know. You sure? I mean, now I'm not. <laughs> Theo <He's just> outed <laughs> himself. <laughs> no, they they planned the bombs, and uh, <laughs> you, yeah, you you boosted the engines, and uh, we 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 all wouldn't be here if it weren't for your efforts. Sky was asking about you. <laughs> oh, how's Sky, has it affected our functioning, having the explosion in the ship? Uh, but yes. She is also stable, but she, well, I guess we could call her blind, maybe. She she can't really see anything right now. Uh, the, the sensory system in the ship is a very sensitive piece of equipment, mm. and if just one line can be disconnected, between two modules, it's possible for the whole system to get shut down. Yeah, so. I think he's feeling okay. <laughs> yeah, he sounds good to me. That's Artie. Theo and Artie, you all have been asked to stay at the hospital to begin the process of being given new limbs. You're being given new limbs? Well, it's super, super basic prosthesis, oh. but it will allow you to grip and have relatively normal function as though you would with a normal arm or legs. The main thing that you need to spend time doing is letting the nerve connections basically connect. Uh, this is full yeah. metal alchemist, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Still, straight from the good <laughs> stuff, dude. All right. I might need to slow down on this process. Sure. I Now that I'm conscious. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Yeah. And if at, if at any point you're like, hey, fuck that, you want to do something else, please also say so. Like, hey, fuck that. I want to <laughs> do something else. Hell yeah. Let's go. Every time you say something, I'm going to hey, say, fuck that. Fuck that. I want to do, do something, something else. else. I'm going to, anytime a doctor wants to come in mm -hmm. and deal with me, I'm going to begin to tell them that, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I would let, not, I, you're, oh, I'm healing. Okay. Good. Yes, wanna, yes. You you don't want to be fitted with. Uh, you, you don't want to be. You don't want to be fitted with prosthesis. Oh, um, no, no, thank you. Uh, oh, okay. Um, this process maybe happens a couple times. <laughs> yes, and I closely guard this medical file that I pulled from the mm. bottom of the table. Question to that: Would any of them know about you? Refusing prosthesis? I don't know how much they're involved in my medical decisions at this point. I think, well, I guess I have a question. Probably, this, will yeah. dictate it. this will dictate it. Were you trying to, over the next few days, spend a fair amount of time with Artie, or are you trying to get distance? <laughs> I think that I have not been able to really look at Artie in the eyes. So I think I've distanced myself. Yeah, I think you've spent the last few days out trying to look for maybe marijuana chips. Because <laughs> that's priority before me. Would I be with him? You're also in the process <laughs> of <laughs> getting your prosthesis put on. Right. So wouldn't I, wouldn't I be with him and be like... Do you accept having... A thesis, I guess. Well, you here's my question. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Because you said it attaches to my nerve endings, mm -hmm. so that it's it's an arm. Yeah, they basically they create a port that will allow you to attach different cybernetics. Oh well, then fuck yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You accept the prosthesis and are going through the process of trying to let all of these nerve bundles basically build it's very uncomfortable Great. and you're also having to start doing like basic physical therapy stuff and you're in that room expecting to see Artie and I don't think you do oh. at any point mm. and so after a few days of this you come maybe you go to you go to yes. you, yeah you go yeah. into his room and you see that they brought you a wheelchair would you be in it or would you be laying in bed yeah still? yeah I think I'll probably just be sitting in it and probably just like looking at my uneven legs mm -hmm. that are there just sticking out probably wearing basically like boxers and with my legs poking out and uh, you probably just see me kind of staring at them while I wheel myself back and forth a little bit. Yeah. I think you come into the room and see him doing that. Artie. Oh, Hey Theo. Hey. 
Um, you, you don't, um, you don't, I just, I was expecting to see you to get fitted. You don't want to do that? Oh, yeah, it sounded complicated. I think it's a little different, arms and legs and that sort of thing. And so, uh, you know, there, there's always some risk too. And uh, it, it's, I really only need my, my arms for tinkering. Okay, well, I don't buy that, but I'm not going to push you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go on a stroll then? Maybe I, I'll push you and we can go on a walk. Yeah, it sounds, that sounds great. Great. Mind if I you want to put yeah, push yeah, myself? Yeah. Let's I want to go kind of for practice. it. Less for me to do sounds good. All right. <laughs> With my one arm. I don't know how I was going to push anyway. So. It looks like they're putting some ports in there for you. Yeah, it's going to be bitching. Yeah. That's a good that's a good port too, like the serial 3.4 one. <laughs> I'm so glad you're impressed. It's got a lot more power delivery than the old version. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know anything about it, uh. but I'm excited that you do. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, after, after uh, this, you all. Go, I was oh, gonna, gonna say, more? say sorry, something sorry. else <laughs> to him. Sorry, I was just sorry, taking sorry. my time sorry. and finding the right the moment. moment and started happen. laughing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, and it was fading into a sincere. Anyway, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> I apologize. I apologize. Well, now I feel like the moment has passed. You yucked her yum. So as I Matthew really not what yucking yum means. Right? I don't know. You said it <laughs> once for a moment like that, and that's what that means to me. Now. <laughs> well, you all go for this stroll, maybe through the hospital towards where the sort of they have like a central little garden area. Maybe oh, nice. Levi, wh- what are you up to at this point? Um, how how healed am I at this point? Another week or so to fully heal to be able to be removed, but you're. You're able to locomote. Yeah. <laughs> a locomote. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like after having been locked up in the hospital for so long, I've grown quite stale of the fluorescent lights and uh, the same old view <laughs> out my window every mm-hmm. single goddamn day. Mm. And I, I feel like I want to, I, I just, I want to take a, even if it's just a stroll around the block, I'm not sure how much energy I have left. Maybe I, I, I feel like I'm still like pretty feeble and pretty like still fatigued. You know, I feel yeah. like that took a lot out of me. There's a lot of emotions I'm grappling with, but I just want to take a just a short, quick walk where I can take in the town. Yeah. Do we go together? Yeah. I'd offer the invitation. No, uh, you're inviting me. I, I would. I, I, yeah. I would invite you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do, do you want? Do you want to come? I think take she's a like walk I'm with me. You. Uh yeah, I'm just surprised. But yeah, I, I had, why are you surprised? I mean, I feel like I I didn't I feel like you were trying to keep to yourself there for a moment and I didn't want to interrupt your alone time. But yeah, I'm definitely go with you. Okay, cool. Yeah, no. I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to be standoffish or I Oh put, hey, you know. hey, let's Let's just not talk and then not not in a mean way. <laughs> no, no, I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. I meant like I think I think uh, <laughs> in, in high pressure situations. Oh, not in a mean way. Great at talking uh, about normal. <laughs> that's uh yeah. Um, that's why that the best. I'll take that one on the chin and uh, press oh, on. Levi. I guess like uh, I don't know how to reply to that. I meant like if you don't want to talk. I don't have to talk and we just chill That's and be cool. together. I, I appreciate and not- <laughs> that. I, 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 you know, I don't know if I want to talk either, but I'm, I, I, I would enjoy hanging out and talking as a person, not somebody that's in a dire conflict with, you know, their death <laughs> hanging above our heads and yeah. yeah, be able to just be yeah. real people. That'd be cool. That's sounds what I meant. Like totally. <laughs> that like a what? I said, that sounds like a date. What? No, two men, two men, <laughs> two, <laughs> yeah, two, now that's two people. character development. <laughs> yeah. So, wait, hold on. Oh. I'm just saying, man and a woman can go on a walk together and not be a date. <laughs> and this is another I'm PSA. <laughs> PSA. Yeah, <that's... laughs> so, uh, a man and a woman can be friends. 
Thank you very much. Kind of cringe, but it can happen. <laughs> it's kind of cringe? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> on this very cringe walk that you <laughs> take um, yes. you all you two go throughout the town I think you have a little bit of a slight ulterior motive I'm hopefully trying to get some some yeah. chips if it if My you supply. can some ghost fox action some ghost maybe. fox maybe action. I don't know how I'm feeling about him right now how do you, how do you call him hey you're what was that how do you call daddy him? Da- oh <laughs> yeah. my god I was expecting like ghosty or Mr. Fox <laughs> or ghosty. something but Mr. Yeah, Foxy. Mr. Foxy. Mr. Foxy. You two head through the town and bear witness to what's gone on over the last seven, ten days or so. You remember that the town was pretty beat up before. And at this point, you start to see that there are people out and about. Buildings are being repaired. Scaffoldings are up. And you see that people are a little bit more relaxed. The biggest thing that you notice on this initial walk is that while there are people out and about, it does feel a little empty. I need both of you to give me notice checks, mm. plus wisdom or dexterity, whatever is higher. I have 12. 12. 10. You catch that there are some sideways glances your way and some mutterings when you go down certain streets and certain people recognize you. How much like an outsider do we feel? Are we very clearly like foreigners on this planet? Like we stand out or is it like? I'll say this with a 12. It's not that you all are inherently outsiders. Like these people are xenophobic or something because <laughs> mm-hmm. you guys are outsiders. They know what you all were involved with. And you can see the various points of views of these people. Hmm. Looks like they don't like us, Levi. No, some of them. While you're going on this walk, is there anything specific you want to try to do? I want to go to the plaza. Go to the plaza. Okay. You go with them? Yeah, I'll go with them. When you get there, what you see is that this has sort of become the sort of home base here. There is various building supplies off to the side where people are going and grabbing pieces. They're using speeders to take them around the town. You see Alistair as part of loading some of that stuff up. And you see the ghost fox is in the center here dictating a couple things to a few people. The palace is not being repaired or worked on. You actually see people are taking material and stone and whatnot from the palace to use to build to repair their buildings how's the ghost fox look does he look like anxious does he like i don't know is he, how is he wielding his authority i guess is what mm. i'm asking he looks like he hasn't slept in days yeah Jeez. i think we should talk to him <clears throat> yeah i guess i guess we should yeah i start. think you should do most of the talking <laughs> okay i can do that thanks if you want me to shut up at any point, please tell me to. I'm, no. <laughs> Levi, you'll never forgive me for that one. <laughs> uh, so you do go up to him? Yeah. Yeah, so you guys go up to him and he catches sight of y'all and begins finishing up his conversations. As you approach, he catches sight of you and finishes up whatever it is that he's doing and turns and starts to head your way. And... We will end the session right there. God no! damn it. Oh my <laughs> God. God. We were just about to like say something as him and we're like, nope. Yeah, I just have to work on the accents more. So. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of the show. The Looters Podcast is Andrew Galtland as Artie, Deanna Nuval as El Capitan, Ian Overton as Levi, Melinda Macklem as Theo, and Matthew Aberly as the Amazing Game Master. I'm your producer, Nikki Galtland. Our art is from the wonderful Jordan Jordan, and we record under a SAG-AFTRA collective bargaining agreement. Thanks again to everyone who's reviewed us on Spotify and iTunes. We really appreciate the love. If you're enjoying the show and haven't reviewed us yet, maybe you could do that this week. Just drop some stars in whatever app you use to listen. It's a great way to support the show, and we really appreciate it. As always, you can find the links for our TikTok, Instagram, and Discord in the show notes and on our website, looterspodcast.com. Come back next Tuesday for episode 12, and until then, later looters. Later looters.